Hi, this is Mark Stein, author of After America, and even in the midst of total societal collapse, you don't want to miss the Dr. Gina show. She's great. Well, and you are listening to the Dr. Gina show. Thanks for being with us this Theological Thursday. What a great lineup today. Um, we have a very special breaking announcement. <laughs> this is an actual fact. Bre breaking news on the Dr. Gina show. Okay, the IRS softball game has been canceled with the GOP. The IRS team has canceled their softball game with the GOP. Wait, is that a story from The Onion? Uh, you know, I don't know where it's from, but it's a credible enough person who tipped me on it that I know it's true. I don't have the link in front of me, and I wouldn't have really a way to look it up right now anyway. Uh, but, yeah, you just, you, you just have to shake your head. Like, when this becomes funny, <laughs> you just... You just have to go, is this really happening in our world today? It's act it's actually posted on the Blaze. Oh, it's on the Blaze. Well, Billy <laughs> Fail. Billy failed us. Billy Fail. Yeah. Yeah, it's canceled. And I, I th my understanding is, and perhaps you can tell me more than I know, Jason, but my understanding is that it is uh, it was the it was the IRS that <laughs> canceled on the GOP, not not the reverse. I, I don't know. And if you can confirm that on this very important breaking news uh, regarding the cancellation of the softball game between the IRS. <laughs> it's, it takes me back because I remember when my husband would play softball against the unions and that was always fascinating, the, those, those games. And I would always go over to the union side and ask him for a t-shirt and I have some union t-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> you have your SEIU t-shirt? Yeah, I do. You think I'm kidding. I have my own purple people meter, purple people eater purple shirt. Purple people beater, yes, that's do. awesome. Um, all right, now. You are a conservative, Jason, and I'm concerned to divulge this next story with you having a mic over there. So if you would just kindly shut your mic off and go investigate whether or not the GOP or the IRS is the one who was responsible for canceling that softball game, I would be very thankful okay, to you. Okay, I'm turning my mic off right now. Picture Arnold. Picture Ronald. Picture J.C. Watts. I'll just go ahead and say, picture hubby Senator John Loudon. Men who are physically strong are more likely to make a to take a right wing political stance. Oh yeah. <laughs> the funny thing is, a friend of mine from Newsmax posted this on my Facebook page, and you're just like, <laughs> "What are you saying here?" Uh, while weaker men are inclined to support the welfare state. This is according to a new study, eScience News reports. Also, Daily Mail is reporting that research dis research researchers, I'll be able to talk in a minute, discovered political motivations that may have evolutionary links to physical strength. Man's upper body strength predicts their political opinions on economic redistribution. According to the research, the principal investigators, psychological scientist Michael Bang Peterson of Aris University in Denver, Mark and also Daniel Snicer of the University of California in the United States believe that the link may reflect psychological traits that evolved. This is great when the evolutionists pit themselves against the liberals. This is just this is this is Thursday. This is Theo Thursday poetry for Regina. Loving it. So it says that they believe this is based on early ancestral environments and continues to influence our behaviors today. Things like weaker men are more likely to support welfare and wealth redistribution. Maybe that's because they don't have the courage to think they can actually go out there and be a producer. Be a maker. I didn't say producer. I said maker. <laughs> this link may reflect psychological traits that date way back to men who were insecure about their ability to make money versus those who were not insecure about it, being stronger, better hunter-gatherer types, the types that we conservative women love to love. Strength with a, was a proxy for an ability to defend or acquire resources, but they did not find the same links in women's physical strengths and political views. 
I'm going to have to hear about this story for the rest of the day now. Thank you so much for being with us today on this Theo Thursday here on the Dr. Gina Show. Life does start here. I'm going to the beach. You go boldly now and live the truth. Thank you.